Welcome to Moving Violations. In this video, we'll be taking a look at these overhead service conductors. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't know exactly where the service point is, but for this video, I'm going to assume they're on the, uh, it's on the utility pole and that these are customer wires. Now, if you look close, these conductors are actually resting right on the sign, and this could be dangerous if um, that wire gets damaged. It could possibly energize a frame of that sign if the metal frame's not grounded and bonded correctly. Now, generally speaking, section 230.24A requires an eight foot clearance for overhead service conductors above a roof. There's a few exceptions there, depending on the voltage. Not sure if they're applicable, um, but in any case, these wires on this sign definitely concern me. This is Russell Blank, NEC consultant for ECNM Magazine.